What is up, friends? It is day 16. It is Saturday. It's another weekend. So I wanted to say that right now because um, I think that weekends might be um, the hardest stretch, if you will, of the week. Um, this weekend, I'm actually going to be with my folks for both Saturday and Sunday, not just Sunday. Um, but I uh, just got at my grandparents' house. Did not take video while driving because the roads are terrible. I literally witnessed somebody um, get stuck and I saw probably four or five cars in the ditch. So real exciting stuff driving 45 minutes this morning. Um, but yeah, I went to my meeting this morning. It was fantastic. There was a, a new guy there, um, heard some people share their stories and how it's helped them and all sorts of fun stuff like that and for myself being on a bit over two weeks here it's astronomical like I was saying um as far as like connecting with people and being genuine and um somebody shared today that one of the biggest problems for them is they were the good kid they were the kid who was doing everything right they were the kid who wasn't smoking who wasn't drinking and like their parents held them to a high standard and respected them but what that did is that drove them further and further inward with their own um, addiction, their own pornography habit. And um, I related with that a lot. Uh, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, say, look at me, I'm, I did, I'm doing everything right. Um, but that was me. Never smoked, never drank, never done drugs. Have zero um, inclination to participate in any of those. And then senior year was a kind of at its peak as far as that mindset. And I was involved in everything. I was involved in everything. I gave my senior speech. I was on the football team. I was on the rowing team. I volunteered at church. Um, I invented that longboard guitar as I showed you guys in a previous video. I just did it all. I was a part of the National Honor Society. You know, I all the clubs, um, Model United Nations. Sorry, see, I'm doing it again talent show sorry okay we're done we're done but um see we're still working progress still working on that sorry what I was getting to with that point is I did all those things to put them on a resume and to say look at me look up to me I'm a leader I'm this that and the other thing um and I just wore myself out I didn't give myself any rest I didn't think what's good for me, which, yes, is most of the time good. Most of the time being selfless, being a servant leader, helping others out, um, loving, caring for others, being involved, all fantastic things. But when you push it to a limit and you're defining that as who you are and you're almost doing it for that sense of pride and that sense of people looking up to you and you want a return on that, you know what I mean? then you're doing it for the wrong reasons. See, when I, when I do things now, I ask myself, why am I doing them? I actually dropped choir last semester because it was a four-hour week commitment, and my reasons for doing it were, well, I always did in high school, and I have some friends in the class, but that was four hours out of my week, gone. And I wasn't doing it because I wanted to. I was doing it because I felt like I had to. Does that make sense? Because that's who I am. I was always involved in this. Um, whereas now, I'm in the folk ensemble, it's only one hour a week, and I get to play guitar and sing, and I feel like I have more free time. Because I do. <laughs> I do have more free time. And there's just more joy there. And the, one of the biggest things that I wasn't doing is I wasn't surrendering my life to God. I had all these things going on, and I was going to church and doing the right things, and I still felt empty. I still felt like something was missing because whenever the stress and the overwhelming um, activities that I was doing would build up to an extent. Sorry, somebody's snow blowing and they caught my attention. What I would do is I would resort to my drug every time. Well, not every time, almost every time. But when it became too much I could bear, I felt like I deserved it. And all those things that I thought were bringing me joy and bringing me purpose and, um, you know, 
I can't think of the word right now, but you know what I'm getting at. Um, I guess entitlement would be uh, a bad term for it. Really, they were just adding up and adding up and feeding into my stress, which fed into my addiction. So even something as small as sleep. I've always been told, like, sleep is for the weak, and I'm still a semi-advocate for that. But as far as the next 90 days, the next year, we are going to make sure that we get adequate sleep. Maybe not every night, but six, five or six out of every week, I'm getting six and a half minimum to seven and a half hours. Um, because if I put anything ahead of sobriety, I will lose that too. And a big part of that is being focused and getting enough sleep and, um, yeah, just simply being aware of what my body needs <clears throat> at uh, different times of the day. And if I'm exhausted, then my focus is going to be gone. My willpower is going to be down. I'm going to be less likely to do some of my habits, some of my standards. And uh, the whole thing goes to crap, goes down a chute there. And then a big victory that I wanted to share. Yesterday was my first day where my list of 30 standards, that's crazy by most of the world's um, standards. Yesterday was my first day ever actually not screwing up a single one of them. Which is huge. Which is huge. And usually I'm in like the 2 to 3 range, which again is no big deal. That's like an A grade. Um, but um, yeah, I just feeling great. I was, I kind of like set my pen down and I realized like I, the tally was a zero and I was like, wow, I don't have to punish myself with any push-ups tonight. <laughs> and, uh, it was, it was crazy. It was a good feeling. Um, and yeah, this morning I actually am already screwed up one of the standards. Um, one of them is never lie. And I told somebody at the group that I had read a section of the book when I hadn't. And it's just like stuff like that. Like why? What's the point? Just be honest. Just say no. I hadn't gotten to it yet. Um, so we messed up on one so far today, but um, hopefully that's all that it stays at. So I am about to head into my grandparents here. Looking forward to spend time with the family. Um, stay focused. Still making phone calls. Um, still keeping productive and keeping with other people and not giving myself any alone time. Give myself downtime, some rest. But if I do, the door is open or um, I have music playing, preferably both, just to keep my mind in the right place. So with that, lots of stuff covered today. Feeling great. Feeling good. Um, we're moving on. We've got some, some momentum here, and I'm not killing the momentum. I will talk to you guys very soon. It's day 16, but it's also day one. It's a new set of 24 hours. And, uh, yeah, stay strong out there. Talk to you guys real soon. Peace.